Yep, we got back uh, from uh, Double Mirror yesterday. And usually, you know, the first day back from uh, a hunting and fishing trip is pretty busy, you know, putting away whatever you got. First thing this morning, I clean and vacuum pack uh, porridges. And now I'm at the trout. So like always, stay tuned. There's going to be a lot happening from here on out. And also a big shout out to all my subscribers. But but uh, I really want to thank all the new subscribers I've been getting lately, you know. And I got like a lot of old videos. A lot of video. I bet if you go back through, you sh I'm sure you'll find something there that you'll find really interesting. I cover a pretty wide range. But if you follow my channel, watch enough videos, you'll see, you'll pick up on a pattern. It's kind of like lifestyle. And pretty much, you know, every month of the year, got something different to be doing. And, uh, you know, I'm not even making videos. This is our lifestyle, you know, just showing our lifestyle. And I take the camera along while I do it. close on a hundred. A lot of tracks there, they must have pitched down and fly down again. We'll find some yet. Uh, Randall uh, refilled me snowshoes for me and he dropped them off there uh, a couple of days ago. I didn't think I would have to use them this year, but there's a bit of snow in this area. Look at that, fresh. Those are the fresh uh, ptarmigan tracks there. Look at that. All over the place here. All in amongst these little altars. Look, sign here everywhere. Look at this. Here. Yeah. Not easy walking. After the last hunt, I figured it'd be a good idea to take me snowshoes. <laughs> yeah. I ended up with 12 on that hunt. I never got much good footage, so I said I'll come out and have another hunt and combine all the footage together. My gosh, gotta be something here somewhere. Just gotta be. Oh, wait a second. Look at that. I see two right there. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to pick these off. See if I find some more. It's a little bit windy, but you know. I want to get them now because there's a lot of places there ain't much snow. And then, you know, once the ground opens up and the berries opens up, partridge berries and stuff, and he starts eating berries, I don't find them nearly as good then. So I want to get them before they start eating the berries. Yeah. Okay. I'll mow some off and I'll clean them up in the shed now later on later on this evening for it like you know I'm getting a lot of new subscribers so the people that don't know we're allowed 25 of these a day 25 tarmy gun and 25 grouse a day so really I could get 50 birds if I'm lucky you know don't usually happen that way lots of times y'all you know, get like 25 ptarmigan and a few sprucers or I'll get 25 sprucers and a few ptarmigan like you know but you can't all the same 
Yeah. Yeah. This one here, look, there's something on his breast. So I'm not gonna pick that one. I'm gonna take him back and skin him and see what he's like after he's home. And to my new subscribers, once in a while, I like to do the happy dance. Woohoo! Wee! <laughs> People have been asking to see the happy dance, and here it is. Woohoo! <laughs> Up there. <laughs> Another one flying up right there. That's five more. You know, the ads don't quick like that. Two, three, four, five. Sir, best. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, got another one for the pot. Uh, Melvin, I hope you're enjoying the video. Well, I hope everything is going well, and I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, yeah, so this is actually the second hunt I was on, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, sometimes, you know, you just don't get enough good footage to make a video, so I just hold off and get a bit of footage from this hunt and combine it all together, and hopefully, hopefully y'all enjoy the video. <laughs> yes, sir, just look at that. Another beautiful ptarmigan. <laughs> Uh, yeah, another nice one for the pot and do the happy dance again, I guess. Yeah, uh, we're on a good hunt today. Worked out quite so good. Well, I got two primary guns, but twice in my snowshoes hooked under the crust. So they have a crust on top. Twice I went down. <laughs> I'll do the happy dance all the same. Don't matter. Whoo wee. Two more for the pot. Yes, sir. Get a few more, we'll have to do a count. 25 is the limit.
uh, I was going to mention as well, uh, I just recently signed up for uh, Buy Me A Coffee. And uh, I just started up. Uh, of course, I don't want to feel like obligated to gotta go buy me a coffee, but if anyone ever did buy me a coffee, I would certainly appreciate it. I, uh, I do love my cup of coffee. And uh, actually, the wife bought me one just to make sure everything was set up right. And I'm gonna enjoy that coffee later on once. I've seen some other channels had it done, so just as well. I am a bit of a coffee lover, you know. <laughs> yeah. I just put it there if anyone wanted to buy a coffee. Like I said, for no, never ever ever feel obligated that like you should buy one or anything. It's just there if you wanted to buy one. Or graciously accept it, you know. Look at that. That's what it looks like. Nice clean that breast. No no shot or nothing in there. Yeah, like I said, once I'll figure out how many I got. I don't want to go over 25. This one got hit a bit harder. The ones I hit like a little harder as shot goes in the breast, I try to eat those first and these will I'll keep for for longer term. Well, I need ten more. I got two, three here, and another one there's four, and there's another bunch up right there, so I'm trying to pick the breasts off here before I go for them. So really I need six more. I needed 10, and I just got 10, just like that. Six more right there. <laughs> I wouldn't have expected to finish off that quick. That's good. Let's really pick these off now and go home. <laughs> yeah, that was fabulous. Yeah, a lot of difference when they're quite, you know. The first hunt the other day, it was really wild. Three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. That's what I call a super happy dance right there. Woohoo! Ten. <laughs> Look at that. I need a ten to finish off, and just like that, it's done. Well, I'd like to thank the wife for buying me uh, my first coffee. Uh, she would uh, buy me a coffee site. And I think, you know, whoever buys me a coffee, I'll give you a little mention in the following video, probably. Oh, that is good. Real good. Yeah, so I got my limit of uh, ptarmigan and four spruce grouse. And I got a couple of buckets of water there. So I'll put the insides and spruce grouse in one bucket and uh, the white ones in the other. So, you know, uh, after hunt, you know, especially when you get a few birds like that, you know, it takes a while to get dog cleaned up. Time you pick some over, wash them, and vacuum pack them. Uh, it takes a nice bit of time. So I'm going to do so many uh, this evening and finish them off tomorrow. It's nice and cold in the shed here. Got the fire going in the shed here. I tell you, it's nice and cozy here now. So uh, I'm going to finish off. Well, I'm going to clean up a few of these birds. I got a bowl, I'm gonna take a couple in uh, for a pot of soup later on for supper. And later on today, me and Jill, we're gonna go over and have a boil up. I'm gonna take the chainsaw and we're gonna cut some dry juniper uh, for to make some wood coals, uh, make some wood charcoal, you know, for uh, for this grill here and also for the fire pit. So that's gonna be fun. And then I'm gonna come back and finish off the rest of the birds. So I'll get them all cleaned up today and get them vacuum packed and put in the freezer. Before I mess up my hands, I'm gonna get a stick of moose jerky. Well, look at this. I got enough uh, moose meat grind up for about six pounds of moose jerky and five moose burgers. Uh, at the end of this video, I'll have a link to a video uh, that I've done previous on how to make the moose jerky. And I tell you, it's delicious. Any little scraps of meat that I can get off the machine goes to honey. <laughs> she loves it.